hello guys how are you doing i'm doing fine over here and in today's video i want to discuss on a very important point based on some questions that i received from some of you so welcome back to verified so if you're new as usual consider subscribing and liking the video but if you are returning one i appreciate your support your subscription and liking the videos let's dive directly into the video so this topic has been so much disturbing to many people many applicants about the work experience qualification in the green card lottery application today i want to break it down to you and try as much as possible to explain it clearly to you that you may not remain confused any more so right on the screen as you can see i want to go through the requirements or the qualification of the applicant of the diversity visa lottery or the green card lottery the principal applicant has to have qualified in the following ways number one the principal applicant or the applicant of the dv lottery must be coming from the country that is eligible the country of birth of the applicant should be eligible for application number two you can also claim chargeability of a country of your spouse so it's not necessarily that you be born in a country that is eligible you can as well marry a spouse that comes from a country that is eligible and then claim chargeability of your spouse that is the first requirement the second requirement of the applicant is that he or she must have met the education qualification or the work experience qualification either of the two and then you can find all this information when you follow this link here from the state.gov website then you'll get all this information and down here i have an excerpt from the laws that pertains diversity visa immigration and it's just a repetition of what i've discussed and it is under this ina 203c and it says the alien must or the applicant must be a native or chargeable to a country that is eligible number two the alien of or the applicant must have at least a high school education or the equivalent of the high school education and thirdly the alien or the applicant must or should have at least within the five, the five the past five years he or she must have had at least two years of work experience in an occupation that requires at least two years of training or experience so if you don't have the high school education or its equivalent two years experience of work within the past five years so that is what the law requires and on this work experience we shall go deeper into it in a moment so during the interview for you to pass for you to succeed you should have filled your ds260 listing all the qualifications be it this education qualification or the work history qualification you should have listed 
them very well in the DS-260 form. Number two, for you to succeed in the interview on the education basis, you should provide the relevant education proof of the education. Make sure you prepare yourself with the certificates. But if your qualification is under the work experience, then this is what you'll do. You'll take a copy or a printout of this website that we call ONET. This website we shall see in a moment. So you take a printout of your job or similar role from the ONET. So you print out the page that describes your work from this website. Then you arm yourself with all these documents, resume or the CV, hire letters, those letters that you are hired, company references, pay slips. So if you arm yourself with all these documents, then you'll be good to go. And then thirdly, you must organize that well. Show you understand the requirement and easily exceed it. So if you are employed, and in this case, we are talking you don't have the high school certificate. You are basing your qualification on work experience. So you make sure you prove to the CO, the consular officer, that you really understand the role pertaining that job. And far, furthermore, that you exceed the knowledge about that job. So if you were a plumber and you don't have the high school certificate, that job that you're doing in plumbing, you make sure that you provide documents, all these documents that you talked about. And number two, make sure that the consular officer gets to, under, to know that you understand the job very well, even exceedingly. And then remember it is subjective and you're supposed to be professional. This means that it is subject to the consular's judgment. So your, jo your work experience is subjective to the consular's decision. So if the consular is able to be convinced that you really are qualified, then he can make the judgment to give you the, the green card visa. But if you cannot prove enough that you really know about this work, or you have this work experience by these documents and showing exceedingly that you understand the job, then you might end up not getting the green card visa. So having discussed on that, let's move on to this website and I'll explain to you bit by bit regarding work experience as a DV lottery application qualification. So this is the website the ONET online website. And before we proceed with checking the kinds of job that qualify, I want us to understand this term here. Specific vocational preparation. What does this term mean? Specific vocational preparation is a component of worker characteristics information found in the Dictionary of Occupational Titles by the United States Department of Labor. This website has content from the United States Department of Labor directly. So whatever classification of jobs listed here, it is directly from the Department of Labor of the United States government. So. Secondly, specific vocational preparation, and we shall be using the short form SVP, specific vocational preparation, as defined in the index C of this dictionary, is the amount 
of lapsed time required by a typical worker to learn the, te the techniques, acquire the information, and develop the facility needed for average performance in a specific job worker situation. Let me clarify here. The SVP, Specific Vocational Preparation, it defines the amount of time that an individual working in a specific job position would have required to undergo training for him or her to work in that job. An example is this. If you did not qualify to get your high school certificate, you did not reach the high school level, but currently you are managing a firm. So your position is a manager. You will find out that the manager will qualify for the green card applic lottery application even if he or she did not qualify with the high school certificate so it defines the amount of time that would have taken that person who is managing that farm to go to the class and be trained number two it continues to say that read here it does not include the orientation time required of a fully qualified worker to become accustomed to specific condition of any new job. So it does not require you to go to class for you to get that knowledge or that skill. So having said that, I want to see, I want us to look at the levels of SVP, specific vocational preparation. And according to the Department of Labor of the United States, they are classified into these nine categories. So we have SVP with range one, SVP with range two, SVP range three, SVP range four, and so on and so forth. So if you see a job that has SVP one, it means that for that person to perform that job only required a short term demonstration of that work. If you see a person with the job SVP2, it means that it would have required that person to undergo from short demonstration up to one month training. If that person has SVP job of range 3, then it means that person has undergone or would have undergone a one a one month up to three months training if it has SVP4 range then that person would have gone for a training of between three months and six months if it is SVP range 5 then that person has undergone between six months and one year of training or would have undergone such a length of time of training and if SVP range 6, then it is one year up to two years of training. That is 6. But 7, SVP range 7 is above 7 years and so on and so forth. So for your work experience to qualify you for the green card lottery application, it must be with an SVP range of seven and above. So if your work description suggests that you have SVP of range seven or eight or nine, then you qualify, even if you don't have the high school certificate to apply for the green card lottery application. So having known that, now let us take some few samples of work experience that have the SVP of 7 and above 
that will qualify you for the green card application and remember this is for those who have not attained the form 4 or the high school certificate or the high school education so i'll take some example and remember that all this information comes from the department of labor of the united states government let's take the first example let's for example let's go back to our example you did not attain the second the high school education and you are a farm manager let's see manager you search here and then here is the result you see the manager here is the result we go down to the farm manager maybe you are a farm manager of your father farm manager of your employer or your own farm let's see the farm manager here they are farmers let's see when you click that then this page comes and on this very first page you can see it gives the specific information about the occupation so either learned or not learned you will have this qualification for you to be a farm manager either learned or not learned you will have this qualification for you to successfully run the farm you see so it does not require you to have undergone a school or academic based training for you to have these skills so even if you are learned or you did not attain your high school education you will qualify because when you we go down to the job zone do you see here job zone we have the svp range and what is the svp range of the farm manager between seven and eight what does that mean it means you have an svp of range seven and above and therefore you qualify even if you don't have the high school certificate to apply for the green card lottery application see that that's what i mean so let's take let's take another one like uh, maybe you are an a graphic designer or a painter let's see the graphic designer or a painter let's say paint let's see what a painter does so we shall take this one fine artist including painters and sculptors. yeah this is the that work for the painter so when you click this page comes and it describes all the skills that that person has even if he does not have the high school certificate and we go down to job zone you see job zone between six and seven one to two years so if you have your cvs to prove that you are an artist or a painter or that one then it will qualify you it will make you qualify because you have up to seven svp svp of range up to seven again we come here we look for painter we want to see others let's take painters construction and maintenance maybe you work at a construction site or you are a painter let's see the svp we go down to the job zone and you see this has a low svp see four to six so this is a very important point that i want to put forward so if your work is to deal with painting architecture and construction and such things what you'll do is that you look for a title on this website that is closely related to what you're doing that closely defines what you are doing and has a specific vocational preparation svp of range seven and above so you look for that title that has the svp of seven and above that closely defines your work and then you use that 
as a proof. I hope that point is clear. So let's take another example. Let's say plumber. Pla plum. Let's search this. Let's see. Under plumber, we have all this. Let's take the first one. Let's see the SVP range. So let's scroll down up to the job zone. We have tasks, technology works, up to the job zone. And job zone says that it has the SVP of between 6 and 7. So you see, you will qualify for the green card application. Let's go and take another one. Anything that has SVP of 7 and above is qualified for green card application. I see plumber. Go. And then we take like septic tanks and pipe cleaners. Let's see the the job zone what it has for us so you see this has an svp of very low range of four so what you do if this is your work you go back and look for a plumbing job that has an svp of seven and above so you come back and you look for plumbing Let's see repair and maintenance worker job zone SVP between six and seven. So you see it has a range of between six and seven. So you you can take this and then have the proof documents in your in your CV to add on what you force on what you are doing. So I hope I'm clear. Any job that is of range SVP 7 and above qualifies you for the green card application. So when I come to the end, as I come to the end, I want to put this very clear. When you're preparing your CV, your pay slips, your higher letters, all those things that will support your work experience don't forget and i repeat don't forget to print out this page on the onet online that shows your skills you see your skills and your qualification and your activities together with the job SVP range. Don't forget to print this page out and go with it and present it to the consular officer during the interview. So it is important that on top of the documents that you have to prove your work experience, you print out this page that describes your job from the ONET website and go with it to the consular. And the last point, make sure that you make the consular officer understand that you really understand your job and you're experienced in it. If you create that confidence in the consular officer, you are guaranteed to get your green card visa. So with that, I come to the end of this video. And mine is to wish you success as you proceed with this journey. If you are new, please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. Support it. Let us grow together. And if you are returning one, let me take this opportunity to thank you so much for your support, for liking the video and subscribing and let's meet in the next video